Hi everyone. Okay, today I've got the energy of you letting go of somebody who you thought was your soulmate. So this is quite specific today. This is for those of you who thought the person was your soulmate. The red flags card is bang in the middle. I think the person that you were connected into really, really did a good, I'm going to say did a good job on you. Um, another way of explaining it. They, they really made you feel that you were the only person in the world. You know, you were literally the love of their life, etc., etc. I think looking back now, you can see the red flags. Maybe it started too quickly. Maybe they moved in too quickly. You know, that kind of thing. But your energy today is you are moving on from somebody who you thought was your soulmate. Their energy's turned up today, so I'm going to have a look at that. You have been forgiving and learning from this i think most importantly though you've been forgiving yourself because i think this person twisted what actually happened you i feel at some point took most of the blame yourself whereas in fact they were probably playing mind games with you so i'm going to look into that i'm going to have a, a quick look at the past because their energy is shown up here i'm going to go into your energy and also see what else comes out today see what else it's quite an open energy today i'm getting. Okay, just kind of shuffling these though, if you look like a reading, if you just click on the title of the video, links in the description box and also the free relationship report. Okay, let's see, let's see what we've got here, please. You defended this person a lot. Okay, there could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You spent a lot of time defending them and speaking up for them. Okay, yeah, I just honestly get today that somebody, somebody was very, very clever at disguising the red flags and pulling the wool over your eyes. I think you fell in love with this person quite quickly. They were extremely charming. But there were many, many red flags that you have been working through since. I do feel for those of you who this is for today, that in your next relationship, or if you're going into one now, that you will, you will see, you'll know. You know, you won't fall. I'm thinking you won't fall for it again. You won't fall for it again. You've you've learned a lot from this connection. Yeah. Right, okay, in your future, you've got some choices coming in, okay? You're going to have something to make a decision on, which is confusing you a lot because I feel when this relationship ended with the person that you were connected into, that it was very painful, it was quite a slow ending. For some of you, you could have just left with the clothes you stood up in, but also it left you feeling very down and very vulnerable and very lost, I'm going to say that you just felt very lost. You did have support, but for a while you didn't feel like anything was there for you. You were kind of there, but you weren't there. I'm kind of channeling. That you, you felt, even though you were amongst people, you felt lost, okay? You've got choices, all right? You've got choices. So I'm going to go into that in a little while. But I'm just going to go back into the past and see what's coming out there. Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Right, okay. I'm... Oh, dear. There was somebody, the person in your past actually did open up very, very quickly to you. They were very loving, very giving, almost generous, you know, to a fault. And because of your trusting nature, you trusted this person, but they turned out to be extremely selfish, extremely money orientated. Either they were lazy and expected you to, to work for the money, or they were just so focused on money. Money was their God. But they became emotionally avoidant. All right. I think you tried for a long time to work this out. I think you came up with many options. You had many discussions with this person about how you were feeling but you were always always willing 
to stand up for them. I do get though that this person isolated you to a point. Okay, this person isolated you. I think there were friends and family who felt there was something not quite right. But because of the the way your person was, they they made you know they made you feel so good about yourself to start with that you you started to disconnect from people that you'd had more connection with okay which i think was part of this person's game plan that's why the forgiving and learning cards come out for you because you're releasing and you're healing the past this wasn't this wasn't a past relationship i don't feel today where it just didn't work. You know, there was an element of control here. I am definitely getting with the King of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles financial control. I feel it went on for quite a while. Okay, I feel that you were isolated, which I think you went along with to start with because, you know, this person kept the act up for quite a while going to say they kept the act up for quite a while and you were in a little bit too deep before you realised and then they had more control than you would have given them if you'd have known what they were like, all right? They're still in your energy. They are still in your energy. I'm just going to see what they might... What they might do let's just get this tarot deck out so i'm going to see what choices you've got you've got something something to make a choice about let's just see what your past person's up to they're feeling very lonely at the moment could be a virgo they're feeling quite lonely i think this person is a bit of, not a loner per se but when things don't go their way they just shut down they don't want to talk about it. I think you have to almost walk on eggshells where your emotions were concerned. And in the end, I think you just gave up. You gave up even trying to express your emotions because you weren't going anywhere. What's going else is going on? Past person, please. Oh, right. That's why their energy is shown up. I think they're going to, this person's going to come back in, Knight of Cups and the Star. Okay, I think especially if you, I've got a lot of fire in your chart, all right, whether that's uh, Leo, Sag or Aries, I think this person is going to come back in your past person. I do read the Knight of Cups though, in this energy today that, it's just love but I just feel it's love bombing okay I, I just think they present a different version of themselves to you for, for whatever their needs that need to be met okay I, I honestly feel that it is just a little bit of love bombing that they're going to come in with you know different day same stuff all right they're quite egotistical I think they're quite selfish but I do feel they will be back. Let's just check their environment out now that's come out. Like I say, you know, their actions, what's going on with them, the Knight of Cups and the Star. They want, to, they want some form of reconciliation. They're hopeful for a reconciliation, okay? They are hopeful. No one understands me but you, yeah. That's really the classic, isn't it? You know, that, that sort of saying, no one understands me but you, or the other way of looking at it, you know, when you meet someone and, you know, my wife doesn't understand me and all of that kind of stuff. I just feel it's a love bombing energy today. All right, I really do. Yeah, you are so different from everyone around me. There was a lot of drama in this. I think this person, if there wasn't drama in their lives, they weren't happy. Okay. They are going to come back in. All right. They're, they're going to come back in this part of the past. But because of these red flags, I, 
you've had a difficult time, a hard time moving on from this person. Yeah, you're healing, temperance. Yeah, you're forgiving. You're forgiving yourself, and for some of you, um, you are starting to forgive them in a way that I just don't think you really care that much anymore. <laughs> I don't. I don't actually think you care that much. Um, you've been finding peace within your own life. You know, I don't feel today, so don't try and make this fit, but I don't feel today that you would probably have this person back. I think you've worked out what went on. I think you've worked out... The, I'm just getting a complete whirlwind. I think the saddest thing is it's left you a little bit wary um, because you trusted this person and because they... They put on such a good performance. You know, I think they're going to come back in, and, you know, with, with another performance. But you're too comfortable where you are now, okay? You don't want the drama. You don't want to go through another ending like that. It was, I get it was slow. It was painful. It was almost like you could see your whole life disintegrating before your eyes and as much as you tried to talk to this person, they just weren't listening. So, yeah, past person, please. Yeah, arrogant. They're very focused on work. I was getting that earlier, Eight of Pentacles. They're very focused on their money. Very repetitive, though. They don't listen. This person doesn't listen. They just keep repeating the same thing. Say different, yeah, different day, same stuff. Three of Swords, yeah. You've had enough of that. I think you've had enough of them thinking they were better than you as well. This person thought they were over, more qualified than you in something. All right, but I do feel that they isolated you from either family or friends or, or a community. You started to feel like your world got a lot smaller with this person. But I don't see whoever this is for today that you will take this person back at all. No. I think you'll reject their offer. I think you're bored of it. You know, you've, you've had enough. Especially if this person, because temperance is in here as well, especially if this person had any addictions or, you know, they socialise more, they put things before you. I think you've just totally had enough of it, really. So let's see what this new energy is today. Let's have a look. Let's see what the new energy is. Choices. What are these choices, please? Yeah. Exactly what I was getting. You have a choice to make, but you're frightened to make it. You feel still a little bit trapped in your head with this past person. I, I don't get so much that you you want to go rushing back into a relationship with them, but what I'm getting is the residue of what they did to you um, is making you very cautious. Very cautious. Right. Okay. I do see for some of you, one of the decisions you have to make is going back into the past again. But, but I do see the outcome that you will actually walk away from this. Okay. The Like I was saying earlier, this residual energy... You're still feeling a little bit almost trapped in it, which is affecting your confidence to make decisions on some new things because of what happened in the past. But you are going to get <clears throat> totally sick and tired of defending this past person. Right? Your walls are coming up. But I, I do see one of the choices you're going to make is that you're going to walk away from something. Okay, so take, take what resonates in that today. You'll know your story. If you have got a decision to make with lots of options, possibly a past person, I do see you walking away. But I don't see you walking away in sadness. I see you walking away feeling, yeah, I invested a lot into that, and that is a shame, but I'm, I'm ready to move on now. I'm absolutely ready to move on. So, 
And let's see what Lenormand have got to say. New person, please. New person. Yeah, person cards come out. So there is somebody new coming in. It's causing me challenges. <coughs> right. Exactly it. Lady Mountain Locket. Okay. There is somebody in your energy who's coming into your energy, but they're finding it difficult to get past your defences. Your central energy is the mountain. You're feeling blocked. You, you've got your walls up. You know, totally, totally understandable. Okay. I think for some of you, the person, the new person will wait for you which I think will help it sort of like bolster your confidence and I do think for some of you that you will open up to this new energy eventually but I think that is one of the decisions you've got to make you're just not sure you're just not sure because I think that the past person you thought it was your soulmate you know, we, we can have false, false soulmate, false twins, whatever the, you know, words you want to use. But you really felt this was your soulmate. And I think they just, they turned out to be a bit of a snake, really, a bit of a snake in the grass. And it's left you with a little bit of a fear of the unknown. Okay, the new person is going to wait for you. All right, but... I think what Spirit wants you to know today is it is okay to open up your heart again. It, it is okay. You know, it is safe. It is safe because I don't feel, whoever this is for today, I don't think you will ever, ever fall for those red flags that you did in the past. I really, really, really don't. That's why I think eventually you will finally walk away from this past energy and this new person is going to come in, okay? This new person's going to come in. The new person's very stuck on you. They're not going to give up, all right? They're not going to give up, whoever this is. Um, they're going to wait. They're going to wait until you have made a decision. I think importantly for you, the message I'm getting to say is this time make make the decisions based on your own emotional needs, which I feel you will do. I think that's what you've learned. Make this decision based on your own emotion. Put yourself first, your, but your own emotional needs. Yeah, confidence is the key to your success. Understandably, though, this person has left you, I think, you know, with, with lower confidence because I think they were physically avoidant and also emotionally avoidant. I think they rejected a lot of your efforts to try and make this better. And in fact, for some of you, I think when this ended, you didn't even recognise yourself. Yeah, bring love into the situation. Eventually you will do. You will, you know, you, you will open up again. Okay, it just takes time. You are, you are forgiving, you are learning. And as you are releasing the past, you are healing, okay. But I see you releasing this past. And the new person's going to come in. The new person is definitely, definitely going to come in, in here. Which is lovely. I think that's lovely. Let's just have a couple more new person. They want a commitment, marriage. The new person doesn't have to be marriage, okay? But it, sign it signifies um, someone who wants a, a long-term commitment, a stable commitment, not, you know, a fly-by-night, which is brilliant. That's why they're going to wait for you, you know. This new, person's, this new person's got their eye on the long game, all right? They don't see you as somebody is just a quick fling. This new person sees you as somebody they want to put roots down with. They know the pain. Okay, they know the pain. Yeah, very generous person, very kind person. If you don't know this person yet, they're coming in. 
yeah, they want stability. You know, they, they're going to get on with your family. You know, it's going to be somebody that... It's going to be somebody that respects your family. Um, but also doesn't... What I'm saying, put, puts your needs before everybody else's. Okay, yeah, they respect family, but they have good, healthy boundaries with their family. But this person, whenever this comes in, whoever this is for, you are going to end up meeting someone who wants a full-time commitment, long-term commitment, and to settle down, buy a house, move in. It, it really is a very, very strong, strong commitment. You could even be being offered that. Yeah, you, you could even be offered that now, Okay, or you could feel that somebody's going to, it's going to go that way. And that's why you've got to make a decision, okay? Until you make a decision, which is clarified by the Eight of Cups, which I feel is you're walking away from the past, even if you're not physically in the past, I think you've really done so much work on yourself now that you'll really be able to just leave it behind. You know, not even really think about it too much okay but this new person wants wants the works they want the works so see what else can we get on the new person oh wow very very stable earth sign pentacles yeah capricorn i'm getting capricorn actually virgo Capricorn or Virgo, very, very stable, okay? I think the new person will have children, okay? I think they have a stable income. They don't rush into things. They don't like drama. You know, they possibly could be a little bit stubborn at times, okay, but not in a bad way. Not, not, not in a bad way. And they're definitely not mindfully. not in a rush though because of the the burdens that you've carried in the past i think you i think for some of you you can't take any more emotional stuff dumped on you you've kind of reached you know the, the top of it and i think in the past relationship you carried a lot of the weight you carried a lot of the burdens you were the one that was having to push for everything everybody just dumped everything on you okay your person really just left you to sort most of the stuff out it was like a one-sided relationship okay a one-sided relationship but again very strongly somebody isolated you here somebody isolated you but this new person would love to come rushing in okay but what's beautiful about this new person is that they're not going to they're not going to because they don't really do drama they don't really do in out up down all around you know the morby brush and all of that they're waiting you know this person's going to wait for you okay this person is going to wait for you let's just have a card from spirit please Yeah, you, you will intuitively know when you meet this person. That's what I'm being, to, you know, being told to say. This is a beautiful message, you know, I'm going to read this one out. I'm at one with my soul, okay? And my soul is a legacy of love, all right? And also, this came out a few days ago. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I'm the author of my own story, okay? This is lovely, you know, something beautiful is coming in, okay, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you're leaving the falseness of the past behind. The past person, before I wrap this up, was false and it was a really hard relationship. It was like just toil, you know, it was just hard work. Every day was just more hard work for you. Okay, but this new person 
is biting their tongue, they're waiting and they will continue to wait until you have made the decision or finish doing your healing, but that person will still be there for you. So I hope that's helped someone today. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all your likes, comments, subscribes. I read all your comments. Take good care of yourselves. I love you all. Put yourselves on the pedestal. Remember you are irreplaceable and unforgettable. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye.